Cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel a little old In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Don't you be afraid Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Tommy Bikes Homestead. How y'all doing today? So I have some cups in front of me, but before I get started, welcome to the channel. If you are new, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not. Turn on your notifications. Also, leave me some comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. Like this video. Like this video. Excuse the noise, but I have um, something in the air fryer. And in front of me today, I have some cups. So these purple cups right here, wait a minute, where did I get them from? These purple cups came from, and I have all of my starts over here, that's why I looked over there. These came, these were the ones that the corn was in, y'all. You know I did, you know I did that experiment with the um, popcorn kernel seeds. So it grew. And I showed y'all videos on that. If you didn't see them, then you can go back to some of those garden videos and check it out. But I took them out and because I had no intentions on trying to grow corn in my house, y'all. I just wanted to see if they run out of seeds, can I use these as backup? And the answer is yes. So I took those out and now I'm about to plant something else in these purple cups and then in these blue cups, these were tomato plants. Sadly, these did not make it when I transplanted them from the little um, pots that I had them in. They did not survive. So I do have like 13, maybe 14 tomato um, starts over there and they are doing fine. We're gonna use this dirt, this soil right here um, I also have some soil that I have to mix up because I added some fertilizer, the black cow, and then I did some seed starting mix, the one that I got from the Dollar Tree. I hope this is not the bag that's busted. But I had got these right here from the Dollar Tree. So I bought a few bags of those just to mix into my own soil. And it has um, peat moss, perlite. I can show you. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Okay. This is it right here. It's very light. That's what you want um when you're starting it i'm gonna wet it a little bit because you can see the dust coming off of it you don't really want to breathe that in um so i'm just gonna put a little bit of water on it but in this bucket i have um container soil all purpose and then this stuff here the seed starting mix the um <clears throat> see what i'm saying the black cow and i'm just going to give that a Good, good mix. I just sat on this, y'all. I'm just putting a little bit of water to moisten it. And I was gonna do this outside, which I should have, because it's more ventilation. So let me take this outside and do it, and I'll be right back. y'all I'm back so I, I mixed up the soil I even added um, half a bag more of the seed starting mix and then I pulled out my seeds that I think I'm going to do today we're going to start off with the carrots Know they look like that. Let's see if y'all can see that. Probably should just sow them right in the ground. Oh, okay, I see them. But I don't know if they're any good, y'all, because I bought these last year. So 
We're gonna do those two cups as carrots. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this soil and put over it. Press it down some, not too deep, like that. I'll label them in a little bit. And I'll just put this right here so I'll know what those are. So these two right here, we're gonna do sunflowers. The seed up there, y'all. These are the ones that I'm doing. These I can actually do three. We're gonna start off with six and I'm just gonna spread them apart, but I'm gonna make sure they're in the center. I'm just gonna push them down a little bit. Keeping them in the center, but just spacing them out so they'll have some room. these aside so I don't know what they are over here. Next up, because I don't want this to be a long video, y'all. Next up, we're going to do some four clocks right here. These, like, were my mom's favorite when I was growing up. She always had four clocks. And so I'm going to show you what they look like. I forgot to show you what the other ones look like. I apologize. But I'll show you in a minute. So these are the four o'clock seeds right here. And these will give you seeds. Well, everything will give you seeds if you allow it to, but these will give you seeds while they're still looking beautiful. So we're gonna do three in each of these two cups. Spaced out in the center and just pressing it down good and moist so I don't have to water it and when I do water it I will sit them in a pan and it'll get the water from underneath and those are the four cups. Those right there to later. I'm not doing the collards because I'm just going to direct sow those in the raised bed. I got onions out. Just going to do some regular sunflowers. These are what I did last year. And they were so pretty, y'all. I think what stopped their stunted their growth was the fact that I had a tarp at the bottom of my raised bed. And I did pull that tarp up for this year, so hopefully everything will be good. Now these look like your regular sunflower seeds. Show you how I got them space before I bury them. I have them in the center, but with some space between it. These don't have four, so I guess these will have four as well. I don't want to do more than four because that takes up too much space. Okay, and I will be planting more of those. So this is how I have them. And then all I'm gonna do is just press it down. If you don't want it to press it down, you could just add a little bit of soil on top of it. But this cup has enough soil in it, so I don't need to do that. Just barely put them underneath the soil. I can cover it with the soil that's in here. I just want to show you how I planted them. This is it right here. And all it is, it has the outer shell, just like an onion. These are your root systems at the bottom. So basically, 
once you peel it, this is the bottom. So I peeled these last night. Once you break your, um, let me sit down, move this out of the way. Once you break your garlic apart, you're gonna have these individual pieces. Each piece works as a seed, just like your sunflower seed, anything else that you're planting. So you would take this, it doesn't matter how you lay it in the dirt, you can lay it flat. It doesn't matter how you lay it. And so unless you have a bag of these and they've already started sprouting or germinating, then you would leave that green piece poking out. And that's what I did. I can show you one. This last night, okay. And I took one of these out of the bag. Well, it had already started germinating and regrowing itself. So I said, well, I set that one aside and I peeled all of the, you have to peel all of this stuff off to get it down to the smooth, part as if you were about to cut it, chop it up. So what I did was I just planted these last night and that's how you can start your garlic. Garlic is also, it works as a deterrent as well when it comes to um, all the little creatures that are in your raised beds and garden that wanna eat what you just planted and especially over where the tomatoes are. And so um, I will be planting these wherever I put my tomatoes, even if they're in a container, these will also go in a container and I will be growing garlic inside of my containers. What I'm gonna do is this bottom piece here, that's the top, but it doesn't matter, remember, how you do it. So I'm just gonna move the soil around some, loosen it up. All I'm doing is squeezing it to loosen it up. And then I'm just gonna put it in there like that. But I'm gonna put it over to the side because I'm gonna put two in this one. And just add a little bit more soil to it. I'm so not left-handed and this is the hand that I have to have surgery on, so. <sighs> that hurt. Anyway, that's all you gotta do for that. Just like that, y'all. This is the squash that I'm about to do. Okay, so this is the squash. Keep it over here. All I'm gonna do, let me loosen up the soil. I had already loosened up the other ones, but these look a little compacted, so you want your soil to be as loose as it can be. And add a little bit. And what I'm doing is trying to make sure I don't, I leave a little space right up in here. That way when I water, which I'll be watering from the bottom, but once they get a little bigger and I water from the top, I won't be washing the seed further down into the soil. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do three in each cup. I already have enough soil in, so I'm just gonna push it in and cover it. Cover it. And notice they're still kinda in the center, but they're still spread apart enough. A hot pepper lemon. I think I said that right. Very, very small. So, I'm gonna keep them loose as much as you can. You can do that even after you plant them, just loosen up your soil if it feels like it's getting compacted. So I'm gonna put three Ooh. in here. So thank y'all so much. Put these right here. Thank y'all for joining me today for the seed dropping of some more um, of my hopefully favorites. 
Now, my son asked me, why are you planting so many? I think it was my son. It might've been my daughter. I can't remember. One of them kids asked me, why am I planting um, flowers? Why you got so many seeds and stuff with flowers? And I said, because you want to bring your pollinators to your yard. Well, why is that? I said, because without the bees and the butterflies and all those nice creatures, you won't have your fruits and your vegetables that you eat. I said, you need to have those in your yard. So y'all, I say that to say, if you have not dropped your seeds yet for your um, pollinators to come and visit you this spring and summer, go ahead and do that now if you can, if you have space. Um, some things can be dropped and put outside and some things can't. So just read the back of the pack. You don't always go by the back, pack because it depends on where you are so anyway y'all y'all take care and remember that i love you but god loves you more he created only one you so be the best you that you can be and when you're that person go out and spread god's love with distance and also if you sow you will grow bye y'all smooches thank y'all for being here like subscribe share Good job.